fun ability. Um, one thing about our maps is not all of them uh, are going to uh, work the best, but uh, especially on our point fights, this is a really, really fun mechanic. Yeah. Um, especially when you're able to get that kill around a corner, uh, just like perfectly timing the bounce off the wall. And that's going to be so crucial. I mean, we've seen mm -hmm. how ridiculous some people's aim already is. Mm -hmm. So now adding in the <laughs> fact that you can go for like some ricochet <laughs> shots on that one. I, uh, I am ready for montages already, so mm -hmm. I hope that when he comes out, like, within a week, if you're not on PTS, at least within a week of release, I want to have some crazy montages with these attacks. Oh, there's that Grover spray, by the way. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to show off the, the leap now as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Tiberius, uh, can we slow down on the abilities, by the way? Um, so Tiberius is going to have a, a short delay. This is just kind of a movement ability in and out. Uh, and yeah. He does have a talent that's going uh, to be able to add damage to it. Um, it's really just a ability that's going to transport him locations. He is a damage character. Um, most of his kit is really about brawling and fighting characters and then uh, locking down enemies at long range with either bounces or his ult fire. Um, but there is some drawback to this ability, uh, mostly in that it's got a .5 pre-fire, so it's not instant, so you kind of okay. have to think a little bit before using it. Uh, and it's just a forward momentum uh, impulse. Uh, mostly horizontal though. So it's a good kind of get me out of this engagement, especially as mm -hmm. like a damage you don't want to take it all, but there's just enough that if you don't react fast enough, you will still kind of die, yep. I guess, in that pre-fire time. And this ability is called um, uh, Crouching Tigron. Perfect name. Oh, I guess we're showing all the abilities. But um, <laughs> let's take this, we're gonna take this one step at a time, uh, cameraman, uh, one ability at a time. And so far, We've gotten kind of, I guess, like the, the two basics that you want in a damage champion. How he's dealing damage, yes. as well as kind of what is most unique, I would argue, about his kit, having the mm -hmm. shots you can bounce off walls. Mm -hmm. You get his disengage, but what, what other abilities is he bringing to the table? Um, so uh, that is his movement ability and his yeah. in-hand. Um, he, he has a self-stim, uh, which is honed, or excuse me, combat trance. Um, so this is going to be your Q ability or ability one. And this is just going to be an attack and movement speed stim. So you increase Ooh, wow. your rate of fire. Uh, this is where Tiberius is actually the most deadly. Um, his DPS on his in-hand uh, is a little bit low for damage characters. Yeah. Um, but when he pops combat trance, that's his moment that you are going to be uh, really powerful and you need to be very careful if you're fighting him and look for this mode specifically. Uh, he just channels his energy and, and becomes really this menacing tiger. And I'm already tiger, thinking tiger, of tiger like on. fun little scenarios like, you know, being able to bounce it off of walls, you find yourself in an engagement and a point fight, there happens to be a wall right there and you're like, huh, that tank looks just precariously low enough that I could do this. You pop your stim, all of a sudden, they're gone. Even with 500, you get those many shots mm -hmm. off, it makes it pretty this, easy yeah, target. This is a character designed to really combo his abilities well. Yeah. Um, and we could probably show that off here. Um, so as you're leaping, you can actually pop your attack speed stim. So up and pop it. So you can start even you can because start of the timing. You can yeah. start firing before you hit yes. the ground. Um, that's a big thing, right, is that Tiberius is going to be leaping through the air and still able to interact and fight with opponents. Uh, we actually did a very special animation for enemies for this. Um, so if you could actually go to 3P and then use Crouching Tigron. This just looks cool, so I want to show it off. <laughs> I think uh, Wraith is, or Thunderbrush is going to be the best at talking about this one. Yeah. Oh. With this ability, we just essentially wanted him to feel more like, uh, more akin to a martial arts master and just look awesome through, through the leap itself. Uh, yeah. It also comes with a, <laughs> a feel of, you know, a, a weapons master isn't just going to be good with weapons. Like, he's going to have had to learn mm -hmm. different kind of martial arts yep. throughout his life to figure out how to fight you, what's the best way to approach yeah. this, and work with those weapons. So it all kind of comes yeah. and culminates here. With new, new champions where we can, we really want to add more of a sense of sort of acrobaticness, I guess you would say. That's probably the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> um... But we wanted him to feel just more agile, um, more more skilled, essentially, and what looks cooler than doing a dozen flips through the air while throwing chakram. Especially on a bigger, bigger character as yes. well. Yes. Uh, so making him feel have that acrobatic cat-like yep. uh, movement was a I know a big thing for the team specifically. Yeah. He's a swole boy, but he's an agile boy too. Can, can we go to three P again and then show crouching Tigron uh, while firing bladed chakrams? Yep. So of course you can still yeah fire the chakrams off. It's just that he's doing it at such a speed you don't even see him necessarily leave the uh, the uh, flip. Mm -hmm. And it, 
with the animation mm. looks amazing because, yep. like you said, with the speed that they're coming out, kind of makes sense yep. as to why they'd still be flying at such speed with how fast he's being able to spin himself. We'd had some conversations early on, too, during the development process. Again, this is always group feedback, uh, and we definitely cycled through a few different ideas here. But we really wanted to make sure we differentiated his leap from, let's say, a bus leap. Because yeah. a big, big object flying through the air really fast is going to look similar. So his de definitely feels super unique. It just, I'm sorry, it feels less impactful every time I see someone die and there's just that shark looking at me. <laughs> it's just like, this is a serious moment, a serious weapons master. Mm. Hey, I'm a shark. Either way. <laughs> that he's, just, he's just admiring the Tigran uh, flow, you know? Yeah. Is, is chi and that <laughs> so far again movement ability we've seen his personal stim yep and we've seen more animations i guess come down mm -hmm. with it what is coming on because you know we've had this with a few champions where they have these secondary kind of abilities mm -hmm. behind their initials so i guess kind of let's dive deeper into tiberius so uh his alternate fire is called heavy blade and this is uh, a magical sword um not really in lore we're not really sure where it's been forged um, it's well, an who unknown forged it, ancient blade. Unknown, but it definitely called specifically to Tiberius. Mm -hmm. Tiberius answered its call, and it has a couple special properties gameplay wise. But the first thing you do is throw it forward, and you can see it actually is going to stick into walls and floors. Uh, and your ability is still active. Uh, oh, there it goes. Um, so once it's actually lodged into the walls and floors, uh, sometimes the angle gets a little bit weird, uh, you can recall it back to your hand, and it's going to pass through everything. Um, so this is shields, walls, uh, floors, players, uh, absolutely everything. And it's going to do reduced damage on its way back. Um, if you want, uh, let's actually show um, the sword going through Fernando's shield. So this is one of the only, this is going to be the only ability in our game, um, or one of the only, that actually goes through player shields. Uh, and that's something that players are going to have to be very cognizant of uh, as they're fighting Tiberius. And so it's hitting Fernando and the shield yes. is what it looked mm -hmm. like with the damage numbers there. So you're able to kind of get the best of both worlds mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. of his ability and being able to recall it. And you can kind of see looking away. I think you had said through walls, through shields, like through anything that happens to be standing between him mm -hmm. and this blade, it will return to him. And that on its own is just awesome. Uh, this, char <laughs> this character gameplay wise is, uh, this is an ability I've wanted to do for a long time, which is a, a weapon recall uh, after it gets stuck into the uh, floor or ground or environment. Um, this character is really built with, there's a lot of cool combos. Um, there's not a lot of lockouts between your abilities. It's about what is the kind of the cool martial artist like mm. way that you're going to take out your opponent. Are you going to throw a sword through them and then recall it and then bounce off a, cho a chakram off the wall mm. uh, or leap in? Um, throwing your chakrams with, you know, enhanced attack speed and movement speed for a short duration. There's a lot of ways that uh, players should be able to experience Tiberius, and I think there's a lot of ways that people are going to be able to find success when playing him. And again, the amount of plays that I can mm -hmm. see that can come out of it just out of, hey, I'm going to bounce this shot off this wall, throw my sword over there, recall it at a different angle so maybe it hits you on the way yep. back. Like, there's a lot of movement and just kind of outplayability yep. built in here. That is going to make it go from very easy to grasp at the beginning, very difficult to master towards the end, which I think fits a weapons master better than anything. Oh, I, absolutely. There's there's a really nice sort of aggressive factor that is really cool about Tiberius. So he's not sort of the peaceful traveling martial arts monk uh, character. He's, he's arrogant. He's, he's kind of fast and just really sure of himself. And it feels reflected in everything he does that the kit also really syncs up with really well. Our animation team, uh, led by Jim, did a really great job oh, yeah. of bringing the character to life. We also did not make it easy for them. No, <laughs> no, it never is. Uh, we can't make it too easy, though. But, yeah, overall, he just came together real, real fantastic and does a wonderful job of selling everything that matches the gameplay kit. And so far, it's been perfect and i guess that's gonna be the one that comes through you've used it strix has used it i have to use it at least once mm -hmm. but that's again only his i guess offhand attack as you would have his right click. a lot of things for this character well, there's yeah. A, yeah there's even more to go into <laughs> oh, and so i'll let you take the plate once again uh you know what let's just show it off anthony let's just bust it out this is blade dance's ultimate yeah oh yeah just use all the abilities oh, 
So good, the animation. Yeah, I'm really oh. excited. So this ability Ooh. is called Blade Dance. So you uh, enter a state for up to 15 seconds and you unlock two new abilities. Uh, striking Tiger, oh which God. is the dash, and Whirling Blades, mm -hmm. uh, which is the twirl. So twirl, your damage immune, Tiberius is actually blocking all incoming damage. And he's gonna apply damage in an AOE when he lands. Uh, and you have five charges of this. This is what I like most about this ability, is that both the abilities are trying to do two, two different things. Uh, one is a damage immunity state with a good knockback and higher damage. Um, a little bit harder to control. Uh, and your dash is just like, it's it's just your quintessential like anime dash through, slice yeah. your sword. But it, it just feels so good to play with. Uh, you can dash through, again, all players. Uh, there's a little bit of delay between using these abilities, but the whole point is that players are going to have different situations in which both of those abilities are going to be able to find success. Yep. Um, you can use it to escape. You can see it's got actual aerial directionality. Yeah. Um, with striking Tiger on. So you could just use it to reposition completely if you're in a, in a bad spot. Again, animation team really dropped everyone's jaw oh, yeah. at an early champion review we had with this guy. When we saw the ult yes. the first time, we knew it was like, yep, that's that's it. <laughs> and I think that was a good showcase in that last little bit. You had said you enter it for 15 seconds, but it's really just either 15 seconds or if you use all your charges. Yeah, you so you charges. get one of, the, one of the two, and that just looks amazing. And mm. it allows you, like, it's just enough distance that even though you're having to use a sword and it has to become kind of like melee damage, <laughs> you don't feel too bad about getting up close with them. Yep. But like you said, it's also a good, I need to get out of here and I need to get out of here fast and safe that's my way out. This is a character that um, one of our design goals uh, for 2020 as a whole for Paladins is play your way, right? Yeah. And this is a character that I think really embodies that mindset um, in that there is just a lot of capabilities and combinations that you can come up with. Sure, there may be a meta one, but yeah. I think players can have fun with this champ. Um, playing it in a variety of different ways, putting emphasis on the sword, or maybe you're really good at bouncing your chakrams, uh, or maybe you just want to feel like a weeb. Um, <laughs> that's my favorite part. Yeah. What I love is is kind of like what you said. There's probably going to be like a, a meta of this is where he's picked and this mm -hmm. is maybe the style oh, quote unquote, that he's played. But like, he's so adaptable that there's never going to be something true. It's like, okay, you're going to play in the back, but at the same time, if we need that guy killed and you're the one with your ult, like, get in there. Go he's, fight him. He's you can change on the fly. Yeah, so there's going to be a lot of people that are like, why isn't he a flank versus a damage? And it's, you know, we've kind of gotten to 43. Is this 44? I think, I think so. Think 44. So. Yeah. We've got a lot of characters. It's a lot of people. There's a lot of champions in our game. So there's definitely characters that I think already embody the idea of hybrid playstyles. And while Tiberius is primarily a damage, he definitely has flanking capabilities. Yeah. Uh, but he doesn't have a ton of self survivability in his kit. Um, but he's able to get in and really kind of eliminate people quickly. Um, but he has to be a little bit more careful. He doesn't yeah. have as many defensive tools as a traditional flank will. But mm -hmm. I like the idea that a character, even if they're traditionally damaged, has a kit that enables them to be played in a different way. And you can do that even more enabled if you have a really good healer. Ideally, oh, yeah. like, I mean, now you have Saris going into the free rotation with him, so yeah. someone yeah. can kind of partner up with you and get that try to keep going on. Heaven yeah. would hope that you're playing Io, though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm not biased. He's not biased at all. <laughs> I mean, I could imagine a good Io heal with a Luna stun incoming, mm -hmm. a Tigron flipping over <laughs> a wall to just yeah. throw it. There's a lot that can go on, and it becomes almost cinematic in nature that I'm happy I play Frontline so I can just sit on the point and watch <laughs> yeah. all of this unfold in front of me. I've done a, instead of having to be part of a bull and a tiger now. And a tiger. Yeah, you know, what, oh my. what will be next? Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Yeah, a Tiberius kind of leaping over the front line of an enemy team is, or having a Tiberius leap over uh, your enemy, uh, team front line is terrifying if they get positioned behind you and activate their abilities. You can also see, I, this is a better example. You're not always going to get the ricochet that you want. You're not going to get the bounce every time mm -hmm. that you want to hit. You have to find that angle, and so with someone that's moving a moving target, it's going to be even harder to find that, which makes mm. it feel just all that more sweet when oh, you do yeah. find it. I'm but we've seen his abilities now. We can kind of go and dive into what his talents will be and what they'll be augmenting mm -hmm. as they come through. So I guess let's go ahead and look at the first one here. Uh, so the first one is Predatory Instinct. I don't think it's good. Yeah. So uh, at base, uh, Tiberius' Chakrams bounce twice, uh, and then they'll dissipate upon hitting or colliding with a wall for a third time. Okay. Um, and so his... Uh, default uh, predatory instincts just adds two more bounces to that, so it's a little bit more friendly to players. Um, or really strong Ooh. in maps, uh, maybe tight areas, right? Uh, this is actually a character that, again, you're gonna have to think about where you want to fight him because 
if he misses you with his projectile in a small room, it's still, there's a good chance it's still going to hit you because it's going to be bouncing <laughs> around in there, especially with this talent. So, you know, after the first bounce, it does less damage. Does that happen after every bounce, or is it just the first no. initial chunk down, yeah, and if then you directly, no matter what, it's going to be yeah, 500 if you directly hit him, it will be 650, but if it is um, a, a bouncing bounce ability, it's always going to do reduced damage. I can imagine so many maps and so many areas where if you find the right angle, mm -hmm. their teams are not going to be happy if they mm -hmm. run single file down the line. I, nope. That one, I guess we called it banana in Stone Keep. You find the right bounce through there when oh, everyone's yeah. running through early on. And, well, People are going to practice They're going to get dismounted. They're going to find the, uh, the area. The angles. Yeah. It's going to be so fun to watch. But already adding extra bounces is going to make it look and feel, I think, a lot better, like you said, for <laughs> anyone new as well as just me who likes bouncing things around the hallways. I feel like it'll be really fun to see the like higher level players, too. Oh, yeah. Like, master and see how they play this because... There's also, like Kevin was saying, there's so many varieties that you can play this character that even if you are a more casual player, they're, they're still going to be like no person probably playing oh, yeah. the same. Very unique. So you get two extra bounces there, so you're going to have a little bit more utility, I guess, coming down from your basic attacks. We can go ahead and take a look at the next one. As Anthony cues that one up. So uh, this is Tigron's Fury. Yeah. Um, so Tigron's Fury... Uh, is actually going to change how your heavy blade operates. So uh, it'll still stick into the wall uh, if you want to throw it there, but you're no longer able to recall it. Instead, you detonate it. Oh, it's not equipped. We'll just pretend like, oh man, pretend that was a great show up with the right click again. <laughs> pretend, that was really, I was really happy with that, <laughs> that timing. A, I was like, oh, he's, we've got it. He's got it already Oh, going. no, it failed. Uh, okay, let's try again. Stick. Let's see if it did that. There, there it is. Oh. That would have been so much better if it happened. Uh, live. <laughs> but uh, so, this allows for more, I guess, splash damage to yes. kind of come in for him. So you're going to be doing reduced damage uh, on the blade hit itself, uh, but you still explode in the area. Uh, and you can actually reactivate this while it's in the air, too. Um, so, uh, what I think is interesting about that is not only can you just try and find the angle um, to really just be disruptive on the mm -hmm. point, uh, there's a short delay, so players are going to have to kind of learn that timing. Um, but uh, you can also set up traps, right? Yeah. Uh, very similar to Abyss Spike, except this now is controlled by the player um, themselves because uh, basically uh, Heavy Blade already had a secondary state. So it was, uh, we thought this was a little bit more interesting way to deliver kind of a trap setup. So you can leave it around, mm -hmm. or like you said, kind of drive yeah. by explosion, if that's what you want yeah, to do. Yeah, it lasts with. for 10 seconds in World, so you, okay. can't, you can't just have it sit, you sitting there for like a minute. You can sit it next to their base and then run back, do some yeah, other stuff. I don't want that to happen. Into the round, it just blows up and happens to be the game-winning player. There, there's traps, but you know, there's got to be some checks and balances into your oh, character. Oh yeah, for sure. Also, so, uh, I've, I've always loved the finger snap on this. Again, animation <laughs> team coming in with that hotness. So, so fun. It just feels good to mm -hmm. hit that. And audio really got that just little little snap in there. Feels the great. snap is very Tiberius, too. It, it very much embodies so much. He's just like, yep, done. Yeah, yep. I was going to say, it captures his personality, especially if you were loving the trailer that we had at HRX. His personality. Personality, wow. I'm going to need uh, more than nine lives to deal with these uh, jokes today, Kevin. <laughs> I only have the point. I can't respond. I can't come up with another pun on the fly. I'm not a master like you in Thunderbrush. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Oh my god. All right, so, well, there's a third talent here <laughs> that also exists and is a perfect segue away from cat puns. We still have balance. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, this is, um, I would argue Tiberius is like the middle portion yeah. in terms of like the halves, but balance is going to be some thick changes yeah. um, so as this, we look at this one. Yeah, so this is just going to add, this is actually, we think, going to enable flank play style a little bit more, uh, which it adds a 700 damage hit onto your Crouching Tiger on ability. Um, numbers aren't showing up, but it is 700 damage, so um, players that really want to kind of jump in and try and take down enemies, um, I, I think are going to find a lot of success with this talent. If you're trying to run that more flank-oriented play style, you lose um, some some extra bounces, you lose mm -hmm. the ability to detonate your sword or set up a trap, but uh, we like that this enables, we think, a third distinct play style in the character. Yeah, and gives you, again, another option for a guy who already has many options, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. like you had said, your design goal going forward is play it your way. Mm -hmm. This gives you even more stylization to kind of bring towards it. And those will unlock pretty much like every other talent that we have. You level them up. It's the first few levels. I think level eight is when you get the last one. Two so eight. you're going to be able to kind of get those pretty quickly as you come through. And well, I can imagine a lot of people already planning on just spamming as much Tiberius mm -hmm. as they can through the first 
I would argue weak, but they'll probably yeah. have some issues getting him every single game, so that will elongate as time goes on. Oh. But he's looking amazing so far, and I believe we do have like recolors and things to look at as 